Week 6 Changes in the Appearance of the Moon Hello! How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Are you ready to learn sign stuff? Great! But before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what are the factors that affect the changes of the phases of the moon? Number two, how does these factors contribute to the change of phases of the moon every month? And number three, what are the superstitious beliefs associated with the moon? What are the factors that affect the changes of the phases of the moon? Are you familiar with the graphics? Can you say something about it? So based on the graphics that we have, the two graphics shows how the moon changes its phases as the sun reflects its sunlight on it. The calendar also shows the phases that we can see each day in every month. What is moon? Moon, it is the natural satellite of the planet Earth. Phases of the moon is affected by the rotation and revolution of the Earth and moon. How does these factors contribute to the change of phases of the moon every month? Moon does not really change its shape. It changes because of its movement. Moon moves into two ways, rotation and revolution. One complete rotation and revolution of a moon is about 27 and one half days or 27 days and 8 hours to be exact. This is an example of a calendar that shows when and what to see in phases of the moon in the succeeding days in a month. Can you tell what date we could see the full moon for the month of June 2021? What are the superstitious beliefs associated with the moon? Superstitious beliefs are based on the opinions, observations, and experiences but have no scientific explanation and some are associated with the moon. For planting, many farmers believe that planting when the moon is in the specific phases may bring good harvest. It is because the growth rate of plant can be affected by them. The different phases of the moon influence the underground water beneath the earth and affect the movement of fluids within plants. During the waxing phase of the moon, from new moon to full moon, the moisture of the soil is at a higher level. This may bring germination and growth to plant. That is why many farmers opt to sow the seeds of their crops during this time. The next one is weather. When the sun, moon, and earth line up and the moon is at its perigee, closest to the earth, you can expect lower temperature. The moon does affect weather but not significantly. It affects the atmosphere the same way it affects the ocean. When the face of the moon is full moon or new moon, it causes a bulge in an ocean. A similar thing happens with the atmosphere. It attracts the atmosphere to itself. The third one is tides. Gravitational forces exist between moon and earth to hold each other in their respective positions. These gravitational forces affect the earth's tides. Tides are the rising and falling of sea levels with respect to land. Imagine the moon as a magnet and earth as a huge metal. When one side of the earth is close to the moon, this side of the earth will be pulled towards the moon causing it to bulge. Since earth is covered with 75% of water, this bulging side causes the ocean level to rise. The rising of ocean level is known as high tide. On the other hand, the other side experiences low water level 
since the water is concentrated on the other side. This is known as low tide. Moon has a big influence in their lives during the ancient times. These beliefs and practices were passed to us and some of them were still part of the life of some people. As man continued to search for evidences, some beliefs before can have an explanation today. I hope you learned a lot from our today's lesson. See you again in our next one.